In a world of when Lambo, crypto scams and fake projects, where can you find true value? No time to research cryptocurrency projects. No money for crypto reports that cost thousands and thousands of dollars. Don't feel defeated. Knockout Crypto Reports are the answer. Knockout Crypto Reports does the research, saving you time. Knockout Crypto Reports are affordable, saving you money. Knockout Crypto Reports only include the highest quality reports. If you want that Lambo, you need to learn how to invest in the highest quality projects early. Knockout Crypto Reports identifies the highest quality projects early, making you money and saving you time. Go to KnockoutCrypto.com and sign up for the report now. Welcome to Knockout Crypto. Thank you for following the channel. Uh, we're going to do a quick review of the L1 network. It's a scalable value transfer protocol for the digital economy. Um, they're talking about 10K transactions per second. They just landed on um, the Binance exchange. They got the ERD BTC pairing. It is doing over uh, 9 million in volume. It's the most popular pairing on, uh, on uh, Binance right now. So what exactly is it? And is this, a, um, is this something that is viable? Um, so let's read about it. Everything changed when the internet transitioned from dial-up to broadband. L1 brings broadband performance to blockchain. Uh, let's look at the one-pager. So, let's see here. What is L1? L1 is a high throughput public blockchain focused on providing security, efficiency, scalability, and interoperability by employing two key elements adaptive state sharding and a new secure proof of stake consensus mechanism. The value proposition L1's goal is to be a high throughput, fast transaction speed, and low transaction cost platform, allowing efficient and competitive DAP user experiences and real world use cases. L1 believes that its high scalability, fast transaction speed, and low transaction costs make it well suited for machine to machine transactions in the IoT economy. Key features L1 is a complete redesign of blockchain architecture with the aim to achieve global scalability and near instant transaction speed. L1 focuses on combining three key innovations adaptive state sharding, transaction data and network sharding, and shard merges and shard splits in real time. Secure proof of stake, stake for a simple prevention, random reshuffling of the consensus group, and fast BTF like consensus. Formally verified VM and smart contracts on sharded architecture with balanced nodes on shards. Additionally, we have consensus and two communication rounds with modified BLS multi signatures. Security with 99% malicious actors using Fisherman's Challenge. Secure randomness beacon with BLS signing. Low system requirements. Testnet live exceeding 12K TPS with just five shards. So here you have the milestones and roadmap. Uh, the testnet was, was launched in 2019 quarter two. The testnet uh, went over um, 12,000 TPS with five shards. Updated roadmap. They are um, looking to have a mainnet launch quarter four 2019. They're going to initiate token swap and staking in quarter 14, uh, quarter four 2019. And implement function of the payment gateway. Launch of L1 DAP store. Launch of L1 name service will all happen in quarter four. 2019 and quarter one 2020 they're going to introduce the l1 digital identity and launch the l1 dex all right so that's what's happening then the token distribution um the ticker is erd the total supply is over 20 billion tokens um the initial the initial circulating supply is 7.4 billion tokens um and they did this uh, a launch pad, launch pad, Binance launch pad. They sold 25% of the tokens on Binance launch pad, 19% uh, in the private sale, 19% goes to the team, um, and they have 17% reserve. As you can see, the breakdown here 2% to the community. So, the team background L1 is built by a team of experienced entrepreneurs, engineers, and researchers with significant technical experience at Microsoft, Google, Intel, NTT, a PhD in CS and blockchain backgrounds, including previously being part of the NIM core team. Some of the partners of L1 include Nash, formerly known as Next. Nash is a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. L1 and Nash aim to explore the potential integration of the L1 blockchain platform ERD into the Nash payment platform, allowing their users and clients to trade and acquire ERD tokens across different platforms. 
Netopia is another partner. Netopia is an electronic payment processor from Southeast Europe. L1 and Netopia aims to jointly explore the potential of integrating ERD into Netopia payment platform. Typing DNA is another partner. is a behavioral biometrics company protecting online users based on how they type their keyboards. L1 and Typing DNA aims to explore the integration of Typing DNA biometric solutions into the L1 platform and future products in order to improve security. Smart Bill is a fintech company providing SAAAS based services to small and medium, medium sized businesses for invoices, accounting, and inventory management. L1 and Slime Bill aim to explore the potential integration of the two platforms to provide their users and clients blockchain based features for transparency or traceability. Distributed Systems Research Laboratory is a laboratory focusing on distributed systems related research areas that, as machine learning, big data analytics, and IoT, L1 and DSL aim to collaborate on blockchain research and educational initiatives. Um, L1 is shaping the next technology revolution. So this is their one pager, and I think this is a really good breakdown of what the project is and what they are about. I also believe that if you go to Binance Research, you can get more information um, about what it is um, and, and, and and what L1 is accomplishing, to, is trying to do. Um, I always like to go to Binance Research to get more information. I want to pull up. something for you guys really quick um, so we know that this is the Binance Launchpad product the sale was conducted in June 2019 they raised 3.2 million dollars worth of BNB at um, <clears throat> 0 0.0065 USD per LR token selling 25% of the total token supply uh, which is impressive um, so what is the token actually used for? Well, the L1 token uses include, but are not limited to, payment for transaction fees and payments for the cost of deploying dApps on the network and rewards for various contributions to the network. During the first few, first few years, the project's main focus will be establishing L1 as a global public utility with the, within the internet ecosystem, offering a scalable, efficient, and interoperable blockchain architecture only accessible through ERD tokens. Our activity within the network, making transactions, running smart contracts, providing services like staking or running a validated node, will be fueled by the ERD token. Both startups and large-scale enterprises will be able to build decentralized applications on top of the L1 network and integrate L1 as a part of the infrastructure solution for products and services. So the token overview and use cases, the use cases intended for ERD included but are not limited to payment for transaction fees, payments for the cost of deploying dApps, and rewards for staking and various contributions to the network. So it's very important that when you're looking at a coin, you want to look at, well, what exactly is the token used for? And once again, you know, you see here that it's common that the token would be used for transaction fees, payments for deploying dApps, and rewards for staking and various contributions to the net network. The ERD token is used to stake and participate in the secure proof of stake consensus of the network. So this is a staking network. In addition, the ERD token is used to pay for transactions, storage fees, and gas. The token serves as a reward to the SPOS validators. The ERD token will be used for voting and on-chain governance at a later stage once on-chain governance is enabled. In L1, rewards are paid through an emission of ERD defined in the protocol. The majority of all newly issued ERD will go to validators, while a very smart part will go to the reserve pool. The reserve pool will be used to fund development and ecosystem expansion, increasing the security and value of the network in the long term. Each time a transaction happens in L1, a percentage of the transaction fees will go to the validators. Another percentage will be burned, while the small remaining part will be donated to the L1 community fund or also burned. The percentage will be released publicly in the upcoming releases from the team. Um, so the main thing is when are they going to produce the main net? And we talked about this earlier. The main net is suspected to come out in quarter four, 2019 and to see, um, you know, they have some things going on there, uh, quarter 19. And we went over to the partners earlier, Nash, Typing DNA, Neptopia, Slant Bill. Um, the team overview. Um, so the team founder is the CEO of product. He was a product and business leader at Nimcore, co-founder and CEO at ICO Market Data and MetaChain Capital. He's an investor in 30 plus startups. His name is Benjamin Minku. He is the CEO of the uh, team. Another interesting person um, that you will find on this team is um, Lucien Todeda. He is a founder and CEO of Soft32, 10 million users per month, partner at MobilePay, angel investor. Um, these are some very uh, smart people. And you could go and you click here to get their LinkedIn or their bios, um, at the GitHub, if you want to check out them more. Um, 
I want to concentrate now on the amount of the amount of volume when you're trading this token right now. Um, so there's a lot of volume on Binance. As you know, any new coin on Binance gets a lot of volume. Um, some of the advisors to this project, Fabio Castan, he's the co-founder of the City of Net Zion and Nash. Um, uh, Ethan Fass, uh, computer science PhD from Stanford, co-founder of City of Zion and Nash as well. Um, so there's some guys, uh, they have Wau Jordan, Ethereum core developer. So they have some advisors that are very, very high up there in the advisor, in the advisor role. Um, you've seen some videos here from different types of crypto people. Um, so this is my take on this right now. They're on the Binance exchange. It looks like this doing like, uh, like we said, 9.9 .9 mil billion. Is that billion? 9.9 .9 million dollars in volume. It's not a little coin market cap yet, but it's definitely getting a lot of um, attention. So it, they're on Binance Dex to celebrate the launch of L1 token sale on Binance Launchpad. Binance will be committing 2,000 BNB to L1 Dex trading promotion announced here, which means there's a total now of 77 million ERD and 2,000 BNB tokens to be airdropped. The rules for the trading airdrop are listed below. The activity period is from 7 4 um, 8 p.m. to 7 9 midnight um all binance chain addresses that reach a trading volume of at least 66 erd including buying themselves on binance dex during each full day while also holding a minimum of ten thousand i mean a hundred thousand erd and 10 bnb in their addresses snapshots will be taken at a random time each day will equally share a pool of 15.4 million and 400 bnb tokens the recorded trading volume on each address will be set daily at midnight over the course of the five-day promotion, a total of 77 million ERD tokens and 2,000 BNB tokens will be airdropped. ERD and BNB tokens rewards for each day will be airdropped to the following qualifying addresses at approximately 6 a.m. the following day. The activity will be held for the five consecutive days. Um, notes, ERD and BRB balances for each day will be recorded at a random time each day. Each full day refers to uh, 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. At the, at the end of the next day, a full 24 hours. Um, Trading volume refers to total buys and sales, excluding wash trades. Binance reserves the right to disqualify addresses which are deemed to be engaging in wash trading or display attributes of market manipulation. Uh, rewards will be automatically airdropped to eligible addresses at approximately 6 a.m. each the following day. So very interesting um, what Binance is doing there. Um, you can, so they're giving a trading competition, a trading airdrop to increase the amount of trading or to encourage trading of the L1 token on the Binance DEX. Um, so that's interesting as well. So Binance is doing a good job there. So let's go back to the website. Let me know what you guys think about um, L1. It is an ex a value transfer protocol for the digital economy. Um, there's a little comparison there. Um, transactions per session for Bitcoin, latency, Ethereum, Zilliqa, Latency, uh, Kadena, and then L1. L1 is supposed to be basically a better version of Zilliqa with less latency, okay? And it has minimal energy and computational requirements, increased security due to the randomly selected block prosper, um, decentralizing cross blockchain operations uh, from zero to one test net. So it's trading on Binance now. Let me know if you guys are jumping in. Let me know what you think about the project. Um, these are some of the investors back in the Electric Capital, Binance Labs, NGC, Authorio Capital, um, and then some of their payments um, partners. So let me know what you guys think about the project um, in the comments below. But this is L1, the next Binance Launchpad project. Thank you for following Knockout Crypto.